and as the rain returns, the band takes up the strain of World in Union, based on the composition by Gustav Holst. The band of the Royal Marines quicken their pace. The quick march, The Corvetteer, composed by Corporal Matthew Dennison, who's lead violin in the Royal Yacht Orchestra. Lieutenant Colonel John Ware, Principal Director of Music, Royal Marines, will now conduct the massed band's finale of our Beat Retreat programme. Symbolism of the embarkation of the invasion forces those 50 years ago. Let us now bring back into the arena each of the... The bands will now march on to Hands Across the Sea. Joining us in the arena, the Royal Navy mast manning team.
strains of westering home with its echoes of ships in heavy seas making for the security of their home port, crews battling with an acre of straining canvas. We begin the mast manning. They begin the long climb. This mast 97 feet high. This team from HMS Daedalus, the Fleet Air Arm Establishment at Leon Solent, who revived the tradition of the mast manning in 1988. This is the lad to watch out for, the button boy. He's the one who will go right to the button, to the very top of the mast. This mast may have as its background the channel ferries and the cranes of the dockyard, but way across the, the docks at Portsmouth, there is a reminder of the days when all this was done for real. We see through the haze the rigging of HMS Victory. It's fearsome enough on a parade ground on Whale Island. Imagine being there on a ship rolling in heavy seas. Rule Britannia now, the signal to run out the flags. The first part of our manoeuvre complete. follows the descent to the theme from Superman.
preparing for the most fearsome descent of all. 19-year-old air engineer mechanic Dougie Gordon. He's 19 today. And he will slide from that point 97 feet up to the arena floor. Well done, particularly well done with the wind and the rain in his face.